Today we can see how to use a Froxlar control panel. I'm Sahil Khan from Sarufada.com and here is a Froxlar. In previous tutorial you see how to install Froxlar. So when we click on any link, you can see here, you can click on a support ticket. It will ask us you have to need add at least one customer. If we click on the domains, same warning here. So first, we create a customer. So username, I'm giving a Sahil is username, password, one, two, three. Password again, one, two, three. Suggestion password name so here again Sahil Haru and a title Mr. Company name server father so here you can see double star that means it's needed here you can see this value is a mandatory either name and a first name company must be filled so we fill here necessary information like email address serverfather at gmail.com customer id you can start from 100 how much of space you want to give so here we can give 1 GB 1 traffic 1 subdomain how many subdomain will be allowed we can give a 6 email address 6 email account 6 email forwarder 6 FTP account 6, support ticket 6, and MySQL database 6. Call enable. Now we can save. So here we have the username already with the traffic, web space, and we can click on a domain. So here we can create a domain. So customer is Sahil and domain name is spiderfinder.in Admin no alias no subdomain which date is add at registry 2014 12 and 20 document roots as well www.html is the root okay IP address is this if you need a separate log file then click on yes now zone files empty for defaults so we can put it empty for default email domain yes subdomain as email domains so never we give a never here and you can choose choosable default no choosable default yes and always whatever you like as per your requirement so we can save this information host name may not be used as a customer domain oh this is the error
Okay, so here we can change serverfather.com. And save. Security questions. Here you can see one domain is added. Now we can see admins. Here you can create an admin from here. Create admin. So you have to give the name of admin. I am giving Alex. Password is one two three. Again password one two three. Name Alex. And we can give the Alex at the rate serverfather.com all IPs can you change server settings no we don't want to change it so from here service data we leave the service data here or we can check on infinitive means full rights So here is the another admin. Now you can see how to add admin and a fraxlor. Now we can see support ticket. Open a new ticket. If you need to create a ticket, you can create from here high, normal. So this is the good thing about uh, fraxlor. If customer have a problem they will open the ticket from here you can write a message from miscellaneous from here to reseller or a customer if you want to give some message to customers or resellers you can type from here system login you can see who is logging and what is the happening in your server or what are you doing with your control panel email and file templates you can add emails and file templates from here welcome to email subjects you can write a subjects there are so much of configuration you can save from here templates same way you can create file templates adding file content now from configuration you can choose here distribution services and daemon so from here we can choose ubuntu http http and daemon apache 2 So here you can see the configuration. For Ubuntu 12.04, now you can go through settings. Here is the settings if you want to change panel accounts, system settings, cron jobs, SSL settings each and every settings are here even you can change the domain key settings and SPF settings it's more important for installation sorry it 
it's more important for mailing SPF setting and domain key settings are more important for mail so this is the PHP info is also here you can see PHP information from here which extension is installed or not it's easy IPs and ports here you can see IP address port number so this is the very easy control panel thanks for watching the video I am Sahil from Sarufata.com